According to Midrashic text, Abraham concluded that idols were not divine. Abraham questioned his surroundings and sought answers to his theological inquiry. For Rabbi Maimon, Abraham was the first to reason the existence of the one true God. Abraham thus became the first convert to Judaism. While fully cognizant of halacha, of Jewish law, the great Spanish rabbi Moses ben Maimon, i.e. Maimonides, adopted a radical notion that while a person's maternal standing classified his or her Israelite status, belief in the fundamental principles of the Jewish faith characterized his or her theological status. Rabbi Moses ben Maimon's argument was the matter of potentiality. An acorn is a potential oak tree. In the same manner, a person born of a Jewish mother is potentially a Jew. Theologically speaking, one was not born into the status of being a Jew, according to Rabbi Mamon. The term Israelite connoted the legal standing of an individual, while the word Jew referred to his or her theological status. There are various consequences to using the halachic definition, that is, maternal standing, as the only criterion of who is a Jew. Many of these are potentially problematic. The Reform and Reconstructionist movements that have been previously mentioned have adopted patrilineal descent as an equally legitimate basis for inclusion, have already created an internal rift in the Jewish community by doing so. Orthodox Judaism excludes conversions and potential marriages between those that are not deemed to meet halachic requirements. A Reformed Jew born to a Jewish mother can marry an Orthodox Jew, but a child born to a non-Jewish mother and a Jewish father would not be deemed as a Jew by traditional Judaism and hence acceptable for marriage. Using the halachic definition as the only basis for establishing Jewishness is also a point of concern, however, in light of a steadily declining Jewish population. Rejecting individuals who base their Jewish identity on patrilineal claims reduces the size of the Jewish community quite significantly. Rabbi Byron Sherwin, of blessed memory, offered a definition of Jewishness which attempts to address the points expressed by the various movements while rightly emphasizing the underlying theological definition of who is a Jew. Rabbi Byron Sherwin stated, A Jew is a member of the covenantal community known as the people of Israel, who is bound to its collective consciousness through memories of its historical expressions.